Hey and welcome to my channel where I experiment with different materials and techniques. This time we are back with another latex crafting video and not with just any latex craft but a cat suit or a plug suit worn by Rei Ayanami from the 19th anime Neon Genesis Evangelion. This is a pretty difficult project as there's so many measurements and variables at play and in fact it took me over 8 months to complete. That being said, let's not drag this any longer and let's get into the actual process of making the cat suit. As always, let's start with the design. Last February I shared these as a sneak peek on my Instagram stories, so some of you might have already seen them. Using all the reference materials I could find from official artwork to licensed figurines, I tried my best to draw the suit and accessories from every angle. My idea was to make the suit itself from latex and then create some of the armor pieces from EVA foam. Let's focus on the suit design first. Here you can see the design from all angles. Now let's break it apart to smaller sections so we can see how to cut this into pattern pieces. Let's focus on the front part of the torso first. Here you can see that it's actually a leotard pattern that is divided into differently colored pieces. For this, you would need the measurements that you would take for a leotard, like horizontal measurements for chest, waist and hips, as well as vertical measurements, like the U-bend and where you want the different colored patterns to start. Here you can see the leotard piece from the back, again divided into individual pieces, and next to that you can see sleeve patterns that have also been divided into black and white pieces. Lastly, I have divided the white leg patterns into pieces and I also had plans to make short latex socks that I could possibly attach a sole to and again for all the patterns you would need both horizontal and vertical measurements. Here I'm just quickly showing the plans for the EVA foam patterns I made for the backpack, shoulder armors, hair clips and the bracelets. I didn't end up using these and I will talk more about that at the end of this video. Here you can see a regular leotard pattern that I drew from my measurements and once I had that in front of me I marked down where my underbust area is and from there I would just eyeball where I want the black pattern at the side to be. I then cut out all the patterns and marked each piece with the color it needs to be and that it was a piece from the front of the leotard. Since the separated pieces would have to be glued to each other they also need a bit of seam allowance. And here you can see me drafting the back side of the leotard. I have measured where the white lower part starts in the front and I'm matching that starting point for the back so when I glue these pieces together the seams will align. I'm also using a French curve for any parts where I want to round out things. Here I have measured and cut out patterns for sleeves. Since the whole sleeve drafting process requires its own video and there are so many great sleeve tutorials out there already, I'm only focusing on how I added the design on the sleeve. Here I had folded the pattern in half so I could find the center of the sleeve. I wanted the design to align with my elbow and I was trying to observe where the seam runs on my regular shirt sleeves when they're on me and it looked like I would need to place the design a bit off center. This was unnecessary however and I could have just centered the design. Here's the front part of the leg. Now I have to admit that I was not sure if I was doing this right as I have only made latex stockings before and I have made very basic leggings before but neither of those projects really answer my main question which is how to draft these so that when I attach them to the leotard, they would fit nicely. In any case, this is the general shape I went with and I made the backside of the legs a bit wider at the top, hoping that this way they will be spacier at the butt and the front wouldn't be so baggy. Next, I sorted out the patterns based on the color and started cutting the latex.
Then I started assembling the main pieces, starting from the legs. Here I'm using some heptane to clean the seams I want to glue together, and once that has evaporated, I apply latex glue to both pieces. Then I wait until the glue has dried and the latex is not curling anymore and start attaching the pieces together. Lastly, I roll the seams with a roller to ensure a proper contact. Next, I'm assembling the front and the back part of the leotard. At the back, I'm adding a zipper. I have a separate zipper tutorial on my channel, but basically I'm attaching a zipper that has been treated with ammonia blazed latex glue, as the latex would not stick to the zipper otherwise. It looks like in the video I had aligned the top of the zipper correctly at first, but somehow I ended up gluing the zipper too low, so please ignore that. My initial plan was to attach some accessories to the suit itself, so here I'm placing a black piece in the front to work as a backdrop for things to glue on later. I'm also adding a thin zipper under it just like the original plug suit design has. Then I'm attaching the leotard pieces from the shoulders, trying to line up the pieces so that they join seamlessly. I'm attaching the orange strip so that they run across the shoulders as a one continuous strip. I ordered the latex for this project overseas and there was a minimum order limit of 5 meters per color, so now I have a lot of orange left since this is all I need for this project, but I have already started a new cosplay project that requires orange and I will be dropping hints in this video, so if you can guess what the next cosplay is, leave the answer in the comments. Next I'm attaching the sleeves, starting from the center of the sleeve. I'm using a rounded piece of foam under the curved seam because I still have not found an acrylic dome, but it works well for this purpose. Then I started attaching the side seam. I connected the pieces from the armpit first and then worked my way to the end of the sleeve. When I glued the front and the back side of the leotard together, I made sure I aligned the pieces so that the black and white parts connected seamlessly. I had already attached the front sides of the leg pieces to the front of the leotard and the back sides of the legs to the back of the leotard, so here I'm continuing closing the side seam all the way down the outer side of the leg.
Once both sides were glued, I finished the project by gluing the inseam of the legs. Now the plug suit was ready, but before trying it on, I would have to let the glue cure for at least 24 hours. I usually like to be on the safe side and let my projects cure for multiple days. Now would also be the best time to clean off any bits of excess glue. The catsuit actually looks really good on the table. I was pretty happy with how nice most of the seams looked as I paid extra attention to make the overlapping parts thin and uniform. My main concern was really how the upper thigh area looked like as there was a lot of curvature around the hips and I can already tell you that your girl is not shaped like me too, so I was interested in finding out whether the latex will distribute my mass like that or whether I would have to redo the legs. Well, it turns out that not only do I have to redo the legs, the whole catsuit was too big on me somehow. I honestly don't know how this happened, but I might have used some very early leotard draft as my starting point without re-measuring and that was clearly a bit too big for me. In any case, there's two options here. I can either disassemble this whole project, every single piece of it, and cut all the pieces smaller and then reassemble them back again, or I can start everything from scratch again. If I had not just ordered millions of meters of latex, I probably would have just disassembled everything, but the process is so slow and annoying and the chances of ripping something is just too high, so I made entirely new patterns and some modifications to those two. Here I finally decided to digitize my leotard pattern for the future and possibly to share with you guys as well. I also made modifications to the chest area as I realized that the catsuit would otherwise flatten it down too much. Therefore I added a curved seam with some extra space to the front. Then I'm gluing everything together again. I'm not showing all of that in this video as the process is otherwise identical to what you just saw. What I did change though is I removed a lot of that curvature from the thigh area. The only problem with that was that as you can see I have moved to a new location at this point and this is the work area you will be seeing from now on. However, I had started working on this second iteration of the catsuit in my previous location, put it on hold while I moved and then picked up the project a couple of months later, forgetting that I had already removed the needed amount from the legs. So when I tried this catsuit on, I wasn't able to get it past my thighs. In any case, here's me adding the sporty stripes to the legs that I had entirely forgotten to do for the first version. For this catsuit, I also added a turtleneck, which I had to severely widen later on. And while I wasn't able to get this catsuit on, I was still happy how it looks here on the table. And I had also tried to take this as an opportunity to improve some parts, like the black trim around the knees, which is now thinner and in my opinion much better looking than the ones in the first version. But since I made these legs too small, I now had to make new ones again. I detached the legs from the catsuit and tried the leotard part on without the legs to ensure that at least that part fits me. I then wrap some plastic wrap around my legs to get their precise shape and measurements for my new patterns. For the trim at the legs, I had come up with an easier way to attach them. Instead of cutting the black parts out and gluing them to the white parts, I first cut out a desired shape off of the sheet, glued the white part to it and then carefully cut out around the piece. This way I could get it very thin. Here I'm detaching the white lower body of the leotard so I could draft it to match the new leg parts and because I had made a tear while detaching the previous leg pieces. 
This process takes a lot of patience as you have to let the solvent do the work and not force it or the latex will rip. Also, make sure you are in a well-ventilated area and are using a properly graded respirator whenever you're working with the solvent or the glue. I took this opportunity to add one more seam to the breast cuffs to give them just a bit more shape. Once the new legs were attached and I had the chance to try the whole thing on, there was still some backiness at the crotch area, so I had to fix the legs for the fourth time. I just removed some material from the leg pieces, but as a result, some of the seams don't align as nicely anymore. I tried experimenting with attaching some accessories to the front of the catsuit, but it looks so bad that I'm not even willing to share the footage of that with you. I then decided to achieve those details by making a chest armor out of EVA foam. Instead of using my own patterns that I designed eight months ago, I chose to use another creator's patterns because I didn't have the energy to make more mistakes. I'm linking her tutorial and Etsy shop for the pattern in my description. I followed her tutorial pretty closely. The only difference is that instead of attaching the arm pieces with Velcro, I glued thin strips of black latex that work like rubber bands but blend perfectly with the sleeves. <laughs> 